So we're going to change out the motor mounts or the engine isolators in my 0470R here on my 53180. It's got a J engine in it. Some say J walk away. But, uh, you know, it runs great, doesn't burn any oil, it's got great power, climbs like crazy, weighs 15 pounds less than a, than a, uh, you know, an R or something. And if I take it off, I gotta spend millions of dollars to put something else on. So, anyway, uh, I've got the solid mount in on the firewall. A lot of times too, when the engine starts to sag, you'll notice that the spinner doesn't line up with the cowling. And if it sags enough, it'll start rubbing through right here. A lot of times when a different engine, like an 0470R, will rub right through here. And uh, so I got some new ones and we're just gonna change them out. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see the change in the prop. A lot of times I've got the old mount in there and there and the engine mounts sit vertically instead of horizontally. And uh, on an annual inspection, a lot of times it's nice to just rotate those things 180 degrees to keep them from sagging because they have a tendency to sag on these old engines. But, uh, yeah, the J is, you know, it's a, it seems to work great. And uh, maybe someday, you know, I'll peep honk it or something. But maybe a little lipstick on the pig might be a power flow exhaust system for my J engine. Where did this come from? Merry Christmas. But lipstick on a pig, I guess. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Anyway, that's another story. So here we are, we pulled the cowling off, and as you can see, there's a failure here on that one. That one's looking okay, but I'm gonna change them all. And this one doesn't look so good. But overall, look at that old exhaust. I'm going to take that off and put the power flow on someday. I was also looking at cylinder head temp for the 0470J here, and there is a screw hole right up in there on the bottom of the cylinder, but there's no way to get my cylinder head temp to screw in there. No, no way. No way. I can't do that. So I don't know. I have to think about that one a little bit. But anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to lift up the engine, take a little load off. The center of gravity of the engine is between the prop and usually the pickup on the top somewhere. So we'll slowly pick it up and see if we have to loosen some things up prior to. And Anyway, the old J engine might have a little oil leak here or there. Nothing serious, but... Yeah, it's always nice to have this crossover brace. I think I made that. Anyway, here we go. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, there we go. Got my best man on it. Pull the bolt out. Yeah, they come out pretty easy. Yeah, they do. How's the bolt look? The bolt looks good. Mm -hmm. I think it was key to get the load distributed so you're lifting the engine up, you know, in a uh, even fashion. Even fashion. Yeah. This thing for us. This is a little low here. Had to remove the exhaust. Got to pull it up high enough to get these stupid mounts out. Got it kind of balanced out now. Looking pretty good. Took the old exhaust off. Might as well just put the power flow on. Forget it. I'm just going to put it on. Merry Christmas. Santa came early. Hmm, better wash it down a little bit.
I think it was time. Oh, that thing's ugly looking. That's how far we had to come up. Now we're gonna wash the engine down a little bit. Nice. Some of the indications of a saggy mount are these wear holes here that come through and they'll come through from the corners of the intake there. We got it up in there, cleaning it off and uh, just checking out a few things, clean it up, put the power flow on. New engine mounts, it's gonna be sweet. Last airplane to get worked on is the bosses. So here we go. We got the engine mounts in. It is just a little bit of a wrestling match to get those things in there. But uh, we measured from the ground to the tip of the spinner and it's actually come up three inches. Three inches, that's a lot. So, although my gear's a little towed in, but it's made a definite, significant difference. Am I excited? Am I excited or what? This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mark's still working on his side. Hey, see you, Aaron. Definitely gonna take a beer after this. Have a good one, Aaron. My Aaron. The dead. The new. Terry! What? Push her out, let's do it! Let's run it! First run with the power flow. Here we go, folks. Sounds good.